The green aircraft in the center is a Japanese Type 1 Oscar flown by the Japanese Army Air. The massive war machines that fill these hangars are actually filled with stories. Stories of the sons and daughters who fought in our world's wars. Stories that even in his death, Paul Allen is helping tell. I cry every time I think about it, but that's kind of the touching piece of this museum is what it represents. So Paul did a great job in preserving that. There's the story of this B-25 bomber, meticulously restored to honor Steven Spielberg's father, who turned 101 this year. His daughter Sue wrote back, said dad was very tickled to receive the happy birthday message. He wants to know if you're taking good care of his airplane. And I said, Definitely yes. Allen always paid special attention to Northwest veterans. This World War II Hellcat fighter recently brought together two crew members who hadn't seen each other in 75 years. Who's that guy? Commander. But here in the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum's brand new wing is an exhibit that preserves a piece of Paul's personal history. I think it pays a tribute to both of his parents, really. So his father, um, the war aspect, he served in World War II and his mother was a teacher, and so he kind of combined the two here at the museum. Along with the incredibly rare German Stuka dive bomber and displays that give you a feel for what it looked like to be staring down the barrel of a tank sits a humble Jeep, the exact same kind Paul's father Ken drove when he landed on the beaches of Normandy in World War II. The front bumper painted with Ken Allen's unit number, an homage to a man whose bravery and dedication inspired Paul Allen to become the man he was. Yeah, he was a great man and he just did so many wonderful things. It's hard to, yeah, it's still hard to imagine he's gone. Gone, but because of his deep love for family and country, never forgotten. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. So cool. It's so cool. It's an impressive museum and obviously an impressive tribute to his father. Uh, the museum's new hangar, by the way, opens up Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, good news. Admission is free this weekend for both veterans and current service members.